Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of uh, Rune Words. Today we're going to be looking at a very interesting rune word, which is Call to Arms. Now, Call to Arms is uh, one that is specifically used as a buff stick. I don't think a lot of people actually use it as a weapon. Uh, it, even though it kind of has some nice statistics as a weapon, uh, the majority of people that make it will make it specifically for the, the buffing aspect. And before we get into the, the skill itself, let's look at what we're getting. So we're getting Battle Command, we're getting um, Battle Orders, and we're also getting Battle Cry. And uh, Battle Cry is a actual sort of an enemy damage and enemy defense aura, so that one's not really the one that people come for. The one that people are coming for is number one, the increases all current skill levels of you and your party, uh, which lasts for 75 seconds. And then, of course, we also have Battle Orders, which lasts for 100 seconds, which increases your maximum life and maximum mana by 56%. And, um, and this is important because uh, people are using this specifically to get the, um, the buffs. And uh, it can be used in combination with other items, like, for instance, if you had a really nice plus two to skills plate, or if you had uh, anything that is giving you plus to skills, you're going to get uh, more benefit to those pieces because it is actually giving you the skills. It is not just giving you the ability to use the skills. You're actually getting them and your plus to skills is actually buffing them up. So as you can see, now it's at 62% because I put on a plus two armor, which is going to help me out a little bit. So let's all go over to the website and we'll take a look at the rune word and, uh, and specifically talk about um, how it can roll and... Um, <laughs> and how it could end up horrible. So uh, the rune word is call to arms, and uh, call to arms has its own specific issues uh, with how it rolls, and we'll talk about that here. So uh, right off the bat, you see it has a plus one to all skills, which is always going to be nice because that means you're going to get a plus one to the battle command, battle orders, and battle cry. You got 40% increase to the attack speed, which is a moot point because most people aren't using this as a actual weapon. Um, you've got 250 to 290% enhanced damage, adds 5 to 30 fire damage, 7% lifesteal per hit, uh, 2 to 6 to battle command, 1 to 6 to battle orders, and 1 to 4 to battle cry, which is the one that people don't specifically care about. Uh, prevent monster heal, replenish life 12, and 30% uh, better chance of magic items. Now, most people will not use this weapon actually use it so most of the time what they're doing is they've got another weapon which they are equipping and uh, and they are running around and and when their battle orders run out they are swapping to their uh, their CTA as, as it's eloquently called they then recast their buffs and then swap back so they're not actually using the weapon they're just using it as a, a buff stick now could this weapon be used as a real weapon for a character Absolutely. Um, it is a, a weapon that can be made in uh, in pretty much any weapon. Um, it is Am, Ral, Mal, Ist, Om, which is a rather complicated um, rune word. Um, the two runes in there that are really hard to get are the Mal rune and the Om rune, where the Ist isn't so hard to come by, but it, like I said uh, in a couple other videos, the Ist rune is very sought after for use. And, uh, and so it gets gobbled up rather quickly into, uh, into you know, various items like Alibaba's and, uh, and other things that will that really get that magic find effect. So um, what could you make this in? Well, a lot of people just end up making it in a regular flail. And the reason why they do that is for the rather low requirements on the, uh, the item itself. And um, when you look at the, uh, the item in a flail, you'll see that uh, it is 35 dexterity, 41 strength, which is really, really low. Um, if you really wanted to make this in a weapon that would actually make it worthwhile, uh, you'd probably want to make it in you know, a much better base than, uh, than a flail. But uh, keep in mind, it does have to be five sockets, and there are a lot of uh, weapons in the game which are not capable of five sockets. Uh, but it certainly is very uh, satisfying to run out and uh, and give yourself some nice, and you can uh, you can go like this. You can go, you can go back and forth. But it's not as satisfying on a non-barbarian. I need mana. Now keep in mind that barbarians' battle orders and barbarians' uh, battle commands are way way better. And of course, you're missing out on the third one that uh, barbarians are capable of, which is the defense. Um, so you're not getting that amazing defense that the uh, the barbarian has to offer. 
And, um, I mean, this particular item it certainly would make a decent weapon. You know, it has lifesteal. It's got 40% 40, 40 IAS. It has very nice enhanced damage. And, uh, and it has prevent monster heal. Um, but like I said, the majority of people that actually run CTA are using it as a buff stick. Now, um, we were talking about the rolls, and the rolls can be absolutely awful. So you can end up with a, uh, a two battle command and a one battle orders. Uh, and that is rather sad considering the, uh, the rune investment for this is, uh, is rather high. And um, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it, it is rather sad. Uh, also, it is important to note that when you are running this on a Barbarian, any skill bonus plus that gives you more than three for the character that actually owns the skill will only ever give you three. So, for instance, if you had a CTA that has plus six and you put this on a Barbarian, they will only get plus three. Um, I believe they did this to prevent, uh, you know, massive, massive overbuffing. Um, and uh, and, and they, there are some other notable things like uh, triangles gives 18 to meteor and some sorceresses have tried to use triangles to get, you know, like like level 68 meteor or some crazy thing like that and it caps at 3. And that's one of the ways that people found out that it actually caps at 3. And um, I, I, I don't know. I feel like this could be an actual very nice weapon for some characters. Um, I'm not sure that uh, you would actually want to throw in the, the rune investment to put this in a high-level item. And if you did put it in a high-level item that has a high dex and a high strength requirement, um, you're going to be the only one that can actually use it because you're probably the only one with the strength and dex to actually wield it. Most people tend to build rather low strength and rather low dex builds. Um, so, you know, putting this in, for instance, in a Scourge, which would be the Hell version, uh, would have a rather high strength and dex requirement. And... Um, makes things a little a little difficult to wield um it's definitely nice to have uh to buff your group to uh to buff before you you teleport uh for instance if you're a teleporting sorceress it's very nice to have battle command and uh and battle orders specifically because it increases your life and your mana and uh, and allows you to get through things a little bit quicker um it's also increasing the skill level of your you know like your um your frozen armor and uh, your energy shield if you use that. So if you are teleporting with those things up, it's going to make you tankier. It's going to make you uh, be able to take hits easier and uh, and survive those uh, those those encounters where you accidentally teleport into the middle of a whole bunch of death lords. Um, <laughs> I've had that happen before. Hmm. There's really not much to say about this particular rune word other than it's great buff stick. Um, it's great to have those uh, those buffs, but as you can see, they don't last very long. They're already gone. Um, I haven't been talking for that long. Um, as you can see, if they're if they're not natively on the barbarian, the barbarian gets synergies for these, which increase the duration. Um, if we go over to an actual barbarian real quick, and we take a look at the uh, the barbarian's skills, uh, we can actually look and see that the barbarian gets a much much higher. Um, Shout, cries, war cries, I guess would be the term. Um, and they last for much, much longer. So, for instance, this is a level 25 shout, battle orders, and battle command. And, uh, and let's go do this satisfying uh, battle command real quick, shall we? Of course, the entrance is somewhere else. This barbarian is glowing because he's, uh, he's literally just, just, just he's, he's got the full IK set on. So, uh, you... And you may be wondering why uh, Barbarians will always do it twice. And the reason is, is because Battle Command actually increases the level of your abilities. So um, when you do Battle Command the first time, most people aren't paying attention. Uh, battle Command is beefing up all your other abilities. And then you use Battle Command again because it beefs up itself. And it increases the duration. And then you use the other two. But most people will just cycle through them all twice. Just to make sure that all three are up. And as you can see, with uh, 2,507 life, um, is a rather nice amount for a actual real Battle Orders uh, Barbarian. And this is, of course, not even with uh, buff items. So a lot of the times when it comes to uh, Barbarians, Barbarians will have what's called buff buff items, like specifically a, um, a really nice buff helmet, 
like dual buff weapons. They'll have a whole bunch of war cries charms. So they can be running like even like 40 or 48 war cry level war cries and and they will massively increase your HP, mana and whatnot. And um, and it's important to note this because when you're looking at CTA if you have a barbarian in your group, maybe you don't want to make a CTA. Because uh, because why do you need a CTA if you've got a far 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 superior <laughs> battle orders and uh, and battle command barbarian uh, in the wings to give you uh, you know shouts that last way 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 longer than call to arms will ever offer you now um, if you're by yourself if you're a so mainly a solo character you do a lot of solo magic finding things like that CTA becomes uh, very very nice and uh, I might have to eventually make one of these for my necromancer so my uh, my all my entire army gets the buffs as well which would be nice because uh, having uh, having a little bit of health extra health and uh, uh, extra health on my mercenary for instance would definitely be nice um, as always I do appreciate you guys and gals watching these videos and um, keep watching